Welcome to Waiting Aloud. Today we're going to do a real quick video. This one is actually on a product I thought I had already done a video on or I did do a video on and apparently it got lost in the internet ethos. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're going to go over it again. As you can see, this is the product here. Cura Leaf, it's an oral oil, THC 1 to 1, this is a 600 milligram bottle, so that's 300 milligrams of CBD, 300 milligrams of THC. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that has any of my personal information on it there. It's just... Uh, Content. And this is the prescription on this side. Hopefully you didn't see that when I was just spinning it around. For private information there. All right, let's get to the inside. The good stuff. As you can see, I've been on this bottle for. Ooh. Looks like the lid is open a little bit. That's the terrible thing about this stuff is it gets everywhere. Oh my God. Not only is this bottle constantly leaking. A little bit of THC, CBD from my beard. I oil my beard regularly anyway, so. I mean, it's, it's weed oil, can't hurt it, right? It's made to be ingested. It's way more on this bottle than should be. Is this cap still leaking? I don't know. This stuff's everywhere though. This is a single dose. I heard tell from the guy at the pharmacy that, that this stuff is supposed to last you a month. My doctor prescribed me six of these a day. Ah, uh, tastes kind of like, uh, I guess just like just a syringe of olive oil with a hint of uh, canna, cannabis in the, in the tail end of it. You will need... something to wash it down with Whew. cheers if you have any oil have one with me ah it's like drinking motor oil honestly seriously though more on a serious tip I thought that taking six syringes of you know oil a day would be Maybe detrimental or maybe even uh, hard on my uh, irritable bowel syndrome. You know what I mean? Like, my body doesn't do very well with simple mineral and fish oil. So, to take this massive amount of oil, I was scared, you know. So, I only did one or two first and worked my way up to the six. And I think it's due to the fact that this is safflower flower oil, safflower oil. And uh, I believe that safflower oil is uh, um, highly absorbable. So it doesn't actually make it to your um, large intestine. It's absorbed in the gut and in the small intestine for the most part. I think that's why they use this as a delivery agent actually in you know, because it is absorbable. I'm trying to rub all this oil in. I'm gonna have really sh good shiny hands tomorrow. Yeah, marijuana oil is good for everything. It's good for your skin, it's good for your hair. It's good for your pain level. And uh, 
this person, this, this particular product right here is uh, extremely good for uh, muscle spasms. And uh, I feel that it's an, a good long-term uh, pain regimen as opposed to like a, uh, a um, opioid long-term pain regimen. Let's just take one more for the road. I didn't take but two earlier today, so I can take up to probably another three. Take to three this afternoon, and I'll still only be like five instead of the six. You do get used to it. It's not that bad. The first one's always the worst. has a, a very slight uh, vaped um, bud smell, almost like a vaped oil or a vaped bud smell, like after you've vaped a dry herb, kind of has that kind of smell. All right, so like I said, that was going to be a short video today, just going over Cure Leaf. It's the company that does the little K-cups and the cartridge flowers for the, uh, for the Hybrid X pin here in Florida. Um, actually, I think I got it right here. The Hybrid X vape pin, three in one dabs, dry herb. And cartridges you gotta have it it's a must-have for all vaping and smoking connoisseurs definitely my hands are all oily now I can't even open this <laughs> I always have trouble with rubber because I, I, I bite my nails and I'm having extreme trouble with this thing today. Holy shit, balls. Where's my dab tool when I need it? Ha! Ah, Eureka! I need to clean this, but you screw this little bulb style mouthpiece on here. And this is actually removable once you get that screwed in good. To clean it, you can actually remove that and, and clean your glass. And it seats right back in there. There you go, and that's your chamber for your dry herb and your dabs. So. We'll be doing more videos on some of Cura, Cura Leaf's products, some of their actual cartridges. They have many, many flower strains and stuff like that. Much like the Sotera, they're, they're, all their products are strain-based. All right, so that's gonna be the video for today. Oh, this is my open for emergencies uh, pocket right here, like, kind of like, for asthmatic people, but this is for people like me. This is my dose pin. I'm keeping that bad boy going. There's a dose. I gotta admit, these things are growing on me. I'll probably go buy like some, some of the bliss and uh what was the other one? I got relief. There was four of them. Bliss, sleep, calm, and relief. So it's like green, purple, red, and blue. Blue is calm. Red is relief for like instant relief for pain. I love that. It gets me every time. 
But anyway, this is kind of like my emergency. My, my emergency uh, inhaler device. We'll put a little tag on here. It says pool for emergency inhalant. One more. One more for the road, guys. Again, we're going to hit the the Cetera Relax PM because it is late and I'm ready to go to bed. So we're going to we're going to relax. Ooh, the flavor on this one is mm. That's one thing I cannot naysay. The quality and the, the strength of depends from the company Cetera. I'm I'm probably just tearing that name a new new one. Let me look on the thing, try and really figure it out. Sir Terra. Yeah, S U R Sir. Terra, like Terraforma. So Terra Wellness of Florida. It's one of the new dispensaries. Go check them out. They got strong, good stuff. So with that, this is Travis from Weeding Aloud signing off. If you like, subscribe. If you don't, go fuck yourself because that's not why we're here and that's not what we do this for. Peace.